see me, sir? Yes. Sit down, Chrissy. This is your second year at Franklin Irving. Yes, sir. You're also an honor student. Straight A's since you arrived here at this school. Yes, sir. I've upheld a GPA that clearly... Are you familiar with a student here named Carter Fox? Only a little. Mostly by reputation. Or lack thereof. He's a senior, not affiliated with any sport, club, or organization... Carter Fox is also within an inch of failing biology. He's taken to doodling sketches of aliens and the like. He's consumed by his own imagination. As a result, his grades are dropping. The reason you're here, Chrissy, is we'd like for you to tutor Carter Fox. You'll want to arrange a study time with him soon. We look forward to seeing the results on his report card. Thank you, sir. Preparing another speech? I wish. I'm supposed to be tutoring a senior. Oh, I see. I'm actually a little bit early. Has anyone been in since school let out? Not since school let out, no. That's all right. He didn't sound like the type to be early anyway. Although Carter Fox came in about a half an hour before school let out, maybe he's still in the back. Thanks. Carter Fox, my name is... Chrissy Daniels. You're an honor student with an uncanny ability to solve problems, a member of the Speech and Debate Club, and you're one of the only girls in school who is a sophomore with a license to drive. How did you... <clears throat> Should the legal age to drive be raised to 18? Chrissy Daniels, sophomore, says, driving at this age is a privilege and should not be taken lightly. The Franklin B. Irving honor student has only had her license for three months. You read the school newspaper. Well, which impresses you more? The fact that I read the paper or the fact that I can read it all? Do you have an interest in space? More with what's contained in it. Do you believe in the existence of alien beings? No, I don't. Why not? Well, for one thing, science has never been able to find any conclusive proof. Are you familiar with the phenomenon known as the Phoenix Lights? Vaguely. On March 13, 1997, thousands of Arizona residents claimed to have witnessed a mile-wide V-shaped formation of lights slowly gliding overhead. It was all over the news, and not just locally. This thing went national. How do they know it wasn't a military test flight of some kind? The only military station in that area is Luke Air Force Base. And there have been countless statements made denying the testing of any experimental aircraft at that time. It wouldn't be the first time the government's lied about this kind of thing. Normally, I would agree with that sentiment. Only that several of Luke's personnel have claimed to have seen the same thing as the civilians. And these aren't the only photos. They're not all taken in Phoenix. This is worldwide. Well, what people see in the sky notwithstanding, it's my job to bring you back down to Earth. You're watching Flux News. The news is out there. Good evening. I'm Judy Rightwing. If you haven't taken a look into the sky tonight, you may want to. We now go live to our own Earl Meyer, who's standing by in downtown Phoenix, where some strange lights have been appearing. Earl? Strange is right, Judy. If I can get Joe, our cameraman, to pan up here. These strange lights in the sky that appear to be in a triangular formation have been hovering directly over downtown for the last 20 minutes. People have been staring up into the sky in absolute awe. Hello? Are you watching TV right now? No, why? How fast can you be at my house? What? Why? I need a ride and you've got a car. 
Carter, I'm studying. Can't you find someone else? A copter. Just tell your study group you had to leave. No, understand. Okay, Carter, I brought you out here. Now, do you want to tell me what's going on? What is this place? Oh, come on, Chrissy. Where's your spirit of adventure? Oh, you know, it was probably nothing. Hey, you two! What do you think you're doing out here this time of night? Well, sir... Uh, we just came out here to uh, look at the stars, sir. The stars? Uh, yes, sir. It's very dark back here, and this is the best place you can see them. It's for a science project. We're students, sir, from Franklin B. Irving High. If you're students, I'm going to need to see some ID. Carter, we have to study. This is what I saw over the city last night. Bright, blurry lights. Unidentified flying objects, Chrissy. Come on, Carter. Even if these were spacecraft, who besides you would be crazy enough to believe this? I know just the guys. Lucy in the Sky, man? Who shot these puppies? Annie Leibowitz. You boys watched the news last night? I was up till 3 a.m. Yeah, playing Xbox. <laughs> You're asking to be CPL2? PL2? Phoenix Lights 2. That's what the people online are calling it. And sorry, Carter, you're not the first with photos. Anybody with a cell phone got snapshots from last night. We went digging. Well, so much for the front page. We were able to find something worthy. We saved it to the hard drive before it got taken down. Carter, what is that? According to the website, that was taken off the I-10, just between here and Tucson. There's almost 100 miles between here and Tucson. Where exactly is this? We don't know. Whoever put up the site failed to be specific. Mr. Saver. Ah, Carter. Nice work on that last exam. I wonder if I might show you something. Are you familiar with the Phoenix Lights, sir? I remember 10 years ago, students saw lights in the sky, aliens coming to probe us, that sort of nonsense. Well, I saw them too, uh, last night. No, what you saw was a test satellite crashing back down to Earth. It was in all the news this morning. Well, if there was only one satellite, then why were there multiple lights? It's entirely possible that the test satellite, upon re-entering the atmosphere, broke into multiple pieces. But sir, I mean, I took the picture Carter, I... you're a good kid, listen to me. You have one final exam to determine whether or not you're going to remain a senior for another year. You can do better, Carter. I know it.
still looking to the skies, Carter Fox? What? A crashed satellite holds little value on the photography market. How do you know about me? Let's just say I'm in a position to know a lot of things about many people. What do you want? It's not about what I want. This is private property. What are you planning on doing? Just knocking on the door? You got a hairpin on you? Why? Because my hair looks better when it's back. What is this place? Beats me. This is incredible, Chrissy. Carter, we're breaking and entering. I say it's bogus. Looks like something out of Fangora. Where'd you say you took this? Here. And if you don't believe me, go see for yourself. You saw it too? I saw something. What do you think it is? An animal of some kind. Maybe a sloth. <laughs> <laughs> a sloth? Laying in a warehouse in Phoenix? I have got to see this for myself. <laughs> me too. I'm in. Knock yourselves out. Meantime, I'm gonna go wave this in Saber's face. These are all done. Ah, oh, you finished them all? Thank you, you know, you've been a big help to me this year. You've saved me a lot of trouble. No problem. Oh, there is one thing. An important paper has gone missing from my desk, an address. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No. I probably misplaced it. Thank you. Carter, it's well after three. I wanted to show you something. Carter, we've been through this. But what about this latest photo? I took this with my camera. I saw it with my own eyes. Carter, I don't doubt that you saw something when you took these photos. But the bottom line is, you want to believe in this stuff so strongly that you'll jump on anything that remotely looks like a flying saucer or 
whatever that is. I don't believe this. I bring you evidence, proof that something is Carter, there. Carter, you're a senior about to graduate. Are you going to be thinking about this crap when you go to college? Are you going to be obsessing over this kind of nonsense while you barely get out with a bachelor in English degree? Once you start this life, it all ends there. I'm about to graduate. Carter, that's an A on this test. It looks like that tutor of yours really saved your ass. I just got a call on my cell phone. The Three Stooges aren't too happy with you right now. They got inside the warehouse, said there was nothing in there but a few empty crates. You were in there with me, Chrissy. You saw something was in there. Saber didn't believe me either. Told me to quit looking for what isn't there. Maybe he's right. We got an A. At least we're doing something right. You got the A, Carter. Listen, I found something online while you were with Saver. Thought you might want it. I-10, mile marker 176. What's that? The remains of a small brush fire. Or possibly where a test satellite crashed back to Earth. You up for a short road trip to kick off your summer break? Why would you want to hang around with your tutor? You're almost a graduate. Oh, well, a little extra credit never hurt anybody.